Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. Today we will be looking at how to set up notifications in Canvas. And these are notifications that uh, you as the teacher would receive um, as students submit work and uh, complete assignments, quizzes, and discussions within the course. And uh, you'll notice that students can also set up their own notifications if they desire. When you look up in the top right hand corner, you see your name and you see a toolbar there. Uh, and this is all your links for your profile and your settings. These settings will not be linked with any course. These are only linked with your profile. So when I click on settings, I'll notice that first of all, it's going to give some information about me, the way my name is displayed, uh, language that I'm going to use, and my time zone. If any of these need to be updated, I simply click on Edit Settings, change the things I need to change, and then update those settings so that they will now be correct. Next, you'll notice that there are different ways for you to be contacted through Canvas when notifications need to be sent. These items are not made available for students within the course to see. Again, this is only tied to your profile for you to receive notification. Notice you can add additional email addresses if you wish to have notifications sent to multiple email accounts. You can also add other contacts such as your Twitter handle or even a cell phone if you would like to receive text messages when those notifications are sent out. Next you'll notice at the bottom that you can actually connect some of the web services that you use. And if there's any of these websites that uh, or web services that you use um, on a regular basis and you want those linked with your Canvas account, you can simply click on one of those, add in your login credentials, and then they will become registered services to use. So on the communication, this is one area where you can go to look at um, how you want to be contacted and the web services uh, that you want to be contacted through. Now, the other area we will go to is over here on the left hand side we will go to notifications. And when you go to notifications, these are going to list all the different things that you have where you would want to be uh, notified. And so this is where you can go in and you can set how you want these to be uh, sent to you. And so you can check to have, for instance, the due date of an activity. If you want that emailed to you right away, you could click the check there. If you want to send a daily summary at the end of the day of everything uh, for that day, you could click that. Or you could have a weekly summary sent. And all you would do is if I want the due date sent to me uh, right away, I would just click check and it's going to be in there ASAP. And then maybe also I want to get in the uh, my cell number, I want to have a text sent to me right away, then I could choose ASAP or the first check and it's going to get to me immediately. And so for each one of these areas, you can select what you want to be notified on and how you want to be notified. Notice there are course activities, there are discussions, there are conversations, there are scheduling areas, there are group membership updates, um, administrative notifications, and then conferences when a recording is ready uh, for you to watch, for you to be notified. So there are many different notifications and students are go going to want to set some of these up as well so that they receive the notifications that they want for their courses. Thank you.